Another variant on the wrong tomb theory appeals to regulations in Jewish law, arguing that although Jesus may have been placed in Joseph's tomb on late Friday, his body would have been moved to a graveyard reserve for criminals by Saturday night. But how likely is this? Like other wrong tomb theories, this thesis doesn't overcome the obvious problem of disconfirmation. Joseph and other authorities negating the presumed finding of the empty tomb with correct information about the actual location of Jesus' corpse. The critical question to be answered is whether indeed there are texts that show us that such temporary burial as described was practiced. In the time of the first century, a body placed in a rock-hewn tomb would be expected to be allowed to remain there for about a year until the flesh decomposed and the bones could be removed to another location. But is there any evidence for the practice of moving criminals after a temporary burial to a graveyard for criminals? Several rabbinic texts make it clear that those who were buried honorably were buried in a different place than those buried dishonorably. Jesus' burial was a dishonorable one. From this it may be argued that Jesus would have had to have been moved quickly so that any other honorable burial in Joseph's tomb could have been conducted. But since there was no other body in the tomb with Jesus, and his bones would have been planned to have been removed within a year, there would be no difficulty with someone else having an honorable burial in the same tomb. A difficulty would only arise if Joseph himself or one of his family members died within that one year period, and there would be no way for Joseph to predict whether this would happen. Another argument is that Joseph had little time to complete a proper burial of Jesus, both because of the nature and complexity of burial duty and because of the impending Sabbath. But even if Joseph's time was limited, this in no way indicates that the burial had to be finished somewhere else. Joseph was just as well able to finish Jesus' burial in the same place he started it. There are also a set of Jewish legal texts that are pieced together to argue for the existence of a practice of temporary burial for less than the period required for the flesh to fade away. One text warns people not to move a corpse from a tomb unless it is known to be a temporary grave and an earlier text in the same document indicates that the remains of Rabbi Gamaliel were put in a borrowed tomb and were later relocated to Jerusalem. But this account is more likely describing a secondary burial in which the bones were gathered. It is also an instance in which the remains were moved in order to be reburied in Jerusalem, the holy city. Since Jesus was already being buried in Jerusalem, and the purpose of moving Gamaliel's remains was to honor him, we are left with that even if we do have a unique case of temporary burial prior to the gathering of the bones, the conditions simply don't apply to Jesus. While theories that the disciples went to the wrong tomb have undergone several new iterations, it remains a thesis that can't be supported. We'll take a look at one last theory, the wackiest of all, next time.